This video is intended to walk you through how to be successful completing each of the units for the course and also give you some tips on mindset so that you can get the most out of this material. So let's start with what a day will look like in this class. We can start with these units and what you'll see that with each of these units has a file for notes and a file for key terms and questions. My recommended process for this is to start by opening up the key terms and questions document, look through that so that you can know what you're going to be looking out for as you go through these presentations. Think about this a little bit like a scavenger hunt where you're looking for this information as you go through. And these key terms and questions are meant to serve two purposes. The first is to keep you engaged. Online training can be easy to space out on. This material is super important and I want you to get the most out of it as possible. So these key terms and questions will help you maintain that engagement. The other thing they'll do is they'll help you help me emphasize to you what I think is the most important content for each of those units so that you know what to focus in on. The third thing, I guess there's three. <laughs> the third thing is that then you have a resource after this class where you have these completed key terms and questions documents, and you can go back and refer to them later on when you want to review the material. When you get into the unit itself, um, it's in what's called a review status. And the reason I've placed these units in the review status is that there's probably stuff we've missed or um, a mistake, some button that didn't get clicked right that makes the progress move forward properly. When you see stuff that either isn't working as you think it would work, should work, or if there's information that you feel like could be added or changed, please put a comment over here on the side and that will send over to us and we can fix it for the next version. So what oh. you'll see is um, over here on the left, you'll have your menu options. And what this allows you to do is move around between each of these slides. Now you might think, um, that seems crazy to have access to the menu. What if I just skip ahead and take the quiz? Well, that is again, another feature of the key terms and questions is that you do need to move through all the material to make sure that you're answering those. Ultimately, you're an adult. And I know that you wanna get the most out of this class. So just take the time and go through all that material because it's really important. And I think it's super interesting. Um, the other tab that's available to here is the notes. If you feel like you're going to have a better view of what um, is being said or have a better understanding of what's being said through the notes, then you can On follow along that way. On the other end of the way. spectrum. Um, some of the presentations may have a resources section up here at the top. So you can click the resources area and those are gonna be optional pieces that we just feel like might be interesting to you if you wanted to learn a little bit more. So going back to the portal, once you've completed those key terms and questions, now you're up for taking this practice assessment. These practice assessments are practice. They're not counted in your total score. They are um, something where there's 10 questions pulled from a bank of 15 to 20 questions. And when you take those, those are gonna give you that opportunity to make sure that you got what you needed to from the lesson. But also these same questions are going to be pulled for the final. What I recommend is taking this two times. The first time you'll get one set of questions and the next time you'll get a slightly different set. And that'll help you get a little bit more practice for that final assessment. This is playing into some learning strategies here where we have immediate need to use the material that, that draws on your ability to do short recall. And then you have time throughout the week to forget that material, study it up a little bit, and then take it again in the assessment. And that's gonna have, help you solidify that information in your mind. Once you've completed the lessons for the day, then we're moving on to the exercise. Now for the exercise, um, there is gonna be a component of each exercise that should be completed prior to getting into that meeting. It's not gonna be very much, very much, just so that you are getting into it with your own brain, thinking about what that process might be, answering a couple of questions. And then when you get into the time with your group for your exercise, you're able to jump right into it. So you'll get a little bit of a briefing about what you'll, what's gonna be completed. And then with your group, you'll end up um, working through that. One of the um, intentions with the live exercise and the live panel discussion afterward is that um, I recognize that online training has some significant disadvantages, namely that training itself is really only a portion about the material that you're getting and a, another big portion about the connections that you make. And I'm not gonna pretend to be able to replicate the human connection in an online environment, but this is the best that we can do and it does, it does okay. Exercises and panel discussions, if you're gonna be willing to engage in those things are gonna be very fruitful for you as far as building that connection and that memory and being able to apply this information. 
Um, so the next piece after the exercise is those panel discussions. Come to those with questions. Those are going to be really important opportunities for you to think about application, get the most out of this material. And then finally, we'll have discussions that after, at the end of the day, you'll complete the discussion, which is really meant to draw out what are the main takeaways that you had from the day, thinking about those ways that you can apply. And this is really important because application of this information is really what we're going for here. And as much as um, an assessment is very convenient on the instructor side and on the student side, honestly, to go through and check a box and answer the question, you think you got it. What we are learning more and more as we study how people learn is that being able to get good marks on an assessment means very little for your ability to apply that information. Now you might say, well, just take these assessments out then. <laughs> I don't want to deal with these assessments. But ass what assessments provide is a very good opportunity to maintain engagement. And of course, you've got to maintain engagement so you can get the content and then you can think about application. So in these discussions, please take the time to really think about how you're going to apply them. And not just think about how you're going to apply them in the discussion, but think about how you're going to apply them tomorrow. And ideally, here's the best practice, is to find somebody that you can teach this stuff to. Because the more that you talk about this stuff and try and digest it enough for somebody else to understand it, ah, that's when you start to get some real learning. And then the last, last piece is the survey. These surveys are going to help us improve the, uh, improve the content, help us under understand your experience. Um, we are not perfect. There's going to be mistakes in this class. There's going to be things that don't work quite right. Um, there's going to be um, content that you feel like was, shouldn't have been included or stuff that we should have included. We want to know about that. This is a dynamic class. We hope to have it changing all the time, improving all the time. And one of the things that we are proud of this class about is that its ability to access, to, pre to be provided as more accessible to people. And we want to make sure that it's not just accessible, but it's also really quality. And that's going to um, come from the feedback that you give us in those surveys. All right. So let's talk about some mindset for a second here. Uh, I'm a big fan of analogies. I call this one, no pain, no gain. I bet you can see where I'm going with this. So when you exercise, for the first time in a long time, you're preparing for your season or whatever, and you are incredibly sore the next day. That makes sense. You are okay with that soreness because you recognize that you're sore because you worked. And you worked and you were out of shape, therefore you're more sore. When we talk about learning, for some reason, we don't expect that soreness and we're not as okay with it. Uh, but the same is true. These are muscles that are probably out of shape. Even full-time students find, you know, struggle. It's like learning is not easy. And so what I would propose to you is that the discomfort that you feel when you are learning something new, especially when there's a lot of information like there is here, it's going to be uncomfortable. But that discomfort is actually a good thing because if it wasn't uncomfortable, you wouldn't be gaining. If you worked out and never got sore, it's obvious you'd never actually be getting in shape. When you are learning and it's not uncomfortable a little bit, then you're also probably not getting as much information as you could be out of the content. So again, what I propose is that in this class, it's going to be uncomfortable, but that pain also means your gain. All right, so some final thoughts here. This class is a compilation of lots of different resources. One of the advantages of having a class set up online like this is that we can pull from lots of different places. Lots of different experts have contributed to this class without even knowing it. Um, so I suppose that some of you can also relate to the idea of what it feels like to go on a binge of cute kitties or painful fails. This class is going to perhaps feel like that just with weather and fire behavior. And as you get overwhelmed with things, take that time, slow down, take a break, take some notes, Think about application, talk to people about the content that you're learning, and recognize that, again, that discomfort, that's going to be um, something that's probably meaning that you're making progress. Okay, so what I'd like you to do before you start in the analysis content is to think about why you're here and really get some um, decisions made about what you're wanting to get out of this class. If you just want a certificate out of the material, then that's all you'll get. But what you have the opportunity to get is to really build a foundation of information so that you can start to see 
this con- these concepts play out in your in your job. And that ultimately what we're going for here is for you to gain information so that you can do something different, so that you can perform safely and effectively, and so that you can lead other people to do the same. Thank you for taking the time on this material. We're really looking forward to receiving it and also to learning with you.